Yeah, thanks, Shubs. Uh, good afternoon to members of the media. Congratulations to Mamelodi Sundowns. Congratulations to the supporters. Uh, congratulations to the technical team, the coaches. Uh, they worked very hard also on the set pieces, and uh, it was good to see we scored another one. We were actually quite dangerous on on, uh, on the set pieces today. Uh, congratulations to to this magnificent group of players, uh, gallant effort, and uh, uh, against a difficult team, um, very difficult to open a program like this after uh, close to two months off. So, congratulations to to the club in its entirety. Please, can it be one question per person, and then we'll see this time for follow-ups. And last two questions around Solos. Uh, good evening, coach. Congratulations evening. on the victory. Uh, to be honest, coach, in regards to you guys playing, there's, there's, there seems to always be a third person free, which speaks to about, you know, probably your rondos or triangles that you guys. Is that is that the main factor why Sundowns continue to dominate clubs? Uh, the game belongs to the players first, and I must say, without uh, going too much into uh, the tactical detail, but uh, when at the beginning of the season I spoke about this diamond and I said it, it's so complicated, it needs a little bit of time, and then when it comes out, it's it's, it's very difficult to 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 stop the triangulations because it's it's got so many things, and then and then when you when I watch the World Cup. Uh, and it's crazy to talk about a team that exited the World Cup so early, but the Germans were so good at playing something very close to the diamond. And uh, there was one or two things that we've adopted, but the players are also uh, very good, very good. The speed of our play is improving uh, before the opposition is able to take up the positions that we want. We move the ball quickly into those areas. And uh, that has to do with uh, the quality of the, the football players. And, and um, a lot of credit for what you see on the pitch. A lot of credit needs to go to them for their bravery, for their for their in football insight, the ability to smell the positions and to find the positions with the right passes at the right time. And then, and then, that's that's yeah. In terms of that, that's those are there's concepts to it. But of course, uh, like I say, at the end, it's. At the end, the, the, the most important thing is the quality of your football players. Coach, uh, coach, I thought today our, uh, your aides were super. They were amazing. Um, I thought Naomi and Alan they were 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 brilliant. Um, uh, one always Pirates had had a player on Tembazwan, which gave uh, Alinde and 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 yeah. Yama space. Was it something that you worked on? You knew it was coming because also I, I'll take it back to Pulukwane where maybe the eights didn't come to the party and we did they didn't create a lot of chances. Was that something you specifically worked on? We we have to, if you know. I, I tell you, I must. I say, there were moments during, especially at the beginning of the season, where uh, a lot of the 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 way we were we were not so fluid, and a lot of the criticism was going to the formation. And I kept saying, there's no. It's it's a very difficult system, and we had to go to it. We had to go to it because of the profile of the midfielders that we have. And even when you see when Sipombule comes in, uh, even I thought Debza was very good today. Was very positionally was very very good. Shishu was excellent uh, for, for 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 the tip of the diamond. Is the type of ten that you need a little bit of a of a, uh, if you go to a profile of a player, it's very difficult. But a, a Thomas Muller maybe that type of that type of type okay. of player. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, but uh, today you could, it was a very good team performance in my opinion. You could have gone to Toby, who was very good. You could have gone to to Ronza, who was very good and brave even on the build up. Uh, an important save even in the, the first set piece that they had the the header uh, point blank right here and then the reflexes. And uh, Grant was good and very difficult to play with a yellow card for so long. Uh, and he was very, very good. Sailor played a little bit different today and, and he was very, very good. 
So it was good. Today was good. Tapelo was good. I mean, you could have gone to anybody today, and I thought it was a good team performance. And hence, congratulations to 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 Mamelodi Sundowns for winning against a very difficult team. Pirates are a very difficult team. Very good team. Well coached. Uh, they play the the back three formation very very well, especially on 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 on, on transitions and giving the overloads from the wide centre halves. Uh, with the speed of Saleng and um, but but congratulations, very good intensive performance from our group today, very good. Coach Sepo from the Falcons. Sure, Sepo. Um, any thinking behind starting my Lula on the bench, given the form that he has shown coming into this match? No, just uh, match readiness. Not not still still not ready, and even. Uh, just a pity that uh, even his introduction was fastened because of Nasir's injury, and which is a little bit unfortunate. That's the probably the the sourest taste in there. Said that last time was Hashim Domingo against Pyros. Today is uh, is, uh, is Nasir. He is, said that the, these type of games always have to end with uh, these type of situations. But okay, it's, it's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, he, Nasir is loved by so many of the, his teammates and the, such a humble um, human being. Um, and you see with his movement, he's very selfless. He tries to create things for his teammates. So so I'm sure the teammates also have... Uh, I, I could see even when when at halftime the stretcher, he was on the stretcher and the, he was being attended to by the paramedics before all the players came to sit down. They all walked past Nasir. And, and touched and encouraged and that shows you because of the type of human being that he is you know so um yeah cash is not ready yet for sure peter not ready yet hashim not ready yet so we, we we're in that space but but good for Keshi to to get some minutes also Thanks, Shota. Coach Sapo from ENC. Shota. How much of a uh, congratulations first on the win? Thank you, How sir. How much of a uh, confidence booster is this win ahead of the, the remain of the season? Especially looking at the fact that before the break, you were winning games. Come after the break, you are still continuing on the, on the front front. How much is it in terms of confidence boost ahead of the rest of the season? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Sapo. But look, uh, congratulations, as I said to the players. You know, it's not it's not easy, especially after a break like this. Yeah, and then you start with a with a big clash like this, where it takes a lot from you physically, uh, emotionally, uh, tactically also. And then the conditions don't make it easy technically because it's raining and the pitch is is also a little bit of a challenge uh, because of its wetness. So huge plaudits once again to this incredible group of players because they adapted and settled very very quick and well to to the conditions and to to, to the demands and um, intelligent you know if i tell you some of the things i mean uh, how neo and alenda swapped positions uh, and at the right time you know without even being coached you know um she, she found the right spaces so um but we continue to improve. We've got so much work still to improve because this game, we, we gave also quite a few chances to the opposition, which is something that we also don't like to do. Uh, so so the, the quicker we recover and, and try to focus for the next game, the better. Take the last three questions. Uh, Coach, can you just indulge us in the... What is the thinking around Ali Jali going forward? Because I, mean, I know his contract is coming to an end. And, um, obviously, there must be negotiations and stuff like that. But what is the situation with Andy as things start now? No, no, AJ, very important player for us, important for the future of this football club. Incredible leadership qualities, very important to have around the, the mentality, the his, his insight, and and you I, you. I use him even as a third, fourth assistant coach to tell you the truth because he sits on the bench. He gives me a lot of information. What he sees, he's uh, got incredible experience, AJ. And uh, apart from the human qualities, which is something that we appreciate and love having uh, within the club. So uh, that's from a football perspective. The contractual and financial issues are handled in a different department at the football club. And uh, uh, I'm sure that as soon as there is an update to be given, the, the club will issue that.
Good evening, coach. Good evening. Kamu Kano from Soccer at Dumash. Congratulations on the win, first Thank and foremost. Um, I don't know if you know, but you're the first Sundowns manager to win three successive league games since Antonio Lopez in 2010. I know you're still in the infancy of your Sundowns managerial career as far as you are concerned. Yeah. But what is it that you see yourself achieving and what is it that you hope to achieve with the club? Yo. Our, oh, well, uh, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, thanks for bringing it up. And the word infancy, I think, is the right word. You know, it's still so early. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that um, two things is that, that this football club does not appoint coaches for short term. Uh, you see, from, for the last couple of years, uh, that they, they, the coach is there and has the support of the football club. And that's the second most important thing is that without without the support of, of of management the board the chairman the Mutsipe family the success of any coach in this football club is not possible and so the most important thing is is is, is to understand that that uh, it takes more than just myself and I'm probably the least important person at this football club to tell you the honest truth because uh, the club is bigger and greater than all of us and uh, my responsibility is just to reward uh, and repay. Uh, maybe the repay is the right word, not reward, but repay the support that so far I have been shown and I, I can sh be 100% sure that I will continue to be shown. And that's not just from, 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 from the managerial perspective in terms of the board and the chairman uh, and the family, but also from the players, because without the players, there's, there's no football club. So they are the most important. And you can see with uh, the attitude and, and the amount of effort that they put in, that uh, they are committed to the cause and trying to make sure that this club achieves all the expectations that have been set out for them, you know. And um, that is that is that is my focus. My focus is just repaying and and being at service, being at service for these players, being at service for for the for the club, the board, uh, the president, the chairman, and and also being at service for the supporters because uh, they continue to support us uh, throughout, in good and bad. And um, uh, um, I say it and I say it with a lot of humility, and uh, and that's what they deserve. Chance you had the question. Oh, yeah. move to the solos questions. Uh, thanks, Ribs. Coach, were you? Um, I'm not sure if shocked is the word uh, with the approach parrots used today. Um, Neo mentioned um, Tim sticking to Mshishi, and at times it seems as if Tim and Koki were at sixes and sevens because Tim has to cut Mshishi, but when you have the ball, Koki has to cut Mshishi. Were you uh, shocked with the the approach that? From where I'm sitting, it seemed a bit cowardice, like for a big, for a big game like this one. And um, I don't know, were you were you shocked, or what was your reaction to the approach from the opponent? No, uh, I tell you, I expect because I, I the only the only change is, is 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 a little bit, but it should not really be surprising because uh, the last. I, the, the break gave me enough time to have a lot of information about pirates and uh, um, the two the two derbies the two games we played against them plus the calling Amazulu uh, uh, Solos Super Sport I mean I'm talking seven eight games to watch is, is and 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 I felt a little bit sorry for the players because sometimes I had to guard my my feedback because at times I felt like I was overloading them with with information. But I I I felt the need to 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 be well prepared for this team because it's a very good side, kids uh, with with a lot of possibilities to hurt you. Very different to what they've done in some of the games today, but they 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 played a little bit of a. Uh, more controlled 4-3-3 than pr previously where they've had a fortune instead of a Vincent Puller. But today they had a hot to Vincent on the left, uh, half space inside wide, which was which was also very difficult to control. Then it's a Saleng on the right inside wide, it's a Moyani <laughs> inside wide, and then it's a it's a it's a Kogi to control the half space and any type of movements that that come into that area and. Uh, 
and but this is this is how pirates have been playing and getting results so so not not surprised at all uh, and 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 it's a well coached side you know in 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 their defense with very good players and uh, tactically um a lot of elements to their game that you have to control and and so so a lot of credit today to our players because uh, we 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 played against a very good side and we won a, a very difficult match because we were more intense and, and, and more concentrated and and we wanted it more to tell you the truth. Is, is that why you had Mudao inviting more than Tapolo did and using Tapolo as an outlet? Well, yeah, but also the strengths of the players. If we have Zeda available with Mudiba, we we probably do something a little bit more different. But when you Sela has played Mudao. Mudao has played at uh, at Black Leopards as an eight. He started his career at Jomo Cosmos as an eight. So so uh, he has more instincts to 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 arrive in the right central areas and use the ball a little bit. It's it's, it's, it's something. Although he's, he's he's played as a right back for quite some time now, but but he still has that foundation of of a central midfielder. And Tapelo has the foundation of a left winger, uh, right? So, and then of course because uh, the information that we have about what Pirates try to do on on their right channel with Saleng who comes inside to 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 the left foot is is a little bit easier for a right-footed fullback to deal with that movement. Mm. So, strengths, weaknesses is a little bit of. But but again, as as I say, the game belongs to the players. Our ours is just to give details and structure, and then at the end is is the quality of the players. And Tapelo was very good today. Sailor was very good today inside. First time he played inside in an official match, but in the friendlies he played inside and he's done exceptionally well. Um, but we try to always have this extra number. Uh, but it's, it's sometimes it's from an eight, sometimes it's from a fullback, sometimes it's even from a centre back. Uh, but we always try to. It's important for for how we play. The only questions are around solos. So there was a hand from Mazola. I thought there would be a question about Mvala also. He was a match, played very well, but uh, the silence. On superb. It. Yeah. You can go into it, coach. Uh, after the question superb. from Mazola. No, superb. Mvala was superb. Exceptional. Yeah. Oh no no, um, Toby. Yeah, is is soldier. Uh, let's put it at that soldier. Uh, uh, this is the mentality that we all have at this football club. Um, Toby has got that warrior spirit. Comes for a lot of criticism uh, because he's, uh, we speak about this all the time. He doesn't look, you know, he doesn't look the sundowns player. The look, but the looks can be very deceiving, you know. The looks can be very deceiving because the the heart sometimes carries the appearance. I don't say never had the look as well. But yeah, yeah, but uh, but uh, um, Toby has all the athletic athletic attributes to be a top centre back, for, especially for 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 the profile of game that we want to play. If we want an an extra pass that comes from from a deeper ball playing. Uh, centre back, Toby has that because he's played as a six, and uh, he's got the physical uh, profile, height, speed uh, to supplement the technical uh, profile. So, so, and then, and then, uh, and then, a uh, good person, good, uh, gentle giant. <laughs> uh, those those that know him will know, uh, and I'm. I'm very happy for him to tell you the truth because I love these type of stories. I love these type of stories, the stories where no one gives you a chance, no one gives you the support, no one gives you the love. And yet you find a way to to soften the hearts of the people through through your efforts and through through your hard work and uh, uh those are the the fairy tale stories and I love those type of stories. So I'm I'm very happy for Toby to tell you the honest truth. Coach, uh, a yeah. serious question. Uh, sure. You know, they uh, made an appointment with uh, Coach PM. You know, Coach, that you've said before that you rate highly yeah. his technical acumen. Yeah. Looking at the dynamics now from when they had an interim coach, now yeah. ahead of your game, do you think it's 
twist, you know, it, it changes uh, those dynamics I, I am facing them? No, big time. Uh, I'm sure he's watching, uh, but yeah, I'm sure he knows I'll be watching too. Uh, I don't talk. Uh, I try to keep a very low profile uh, because I don't think I'm. I've got, I've I've got the right yet to be able to speak to a lot of PSL coaches. Uh, I've got to, I've got to humble myself and earn my stripes, and so I don't communicate to a lot of coaches. Uh, I try to, to 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 keep a little bit to 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 a space where I I understand the ecosystem. It was, which was advice that I was given a couple of years ago by a very wise man. But if there is a coach that I frequently talk to, it's Ernst Middendorp. Uh, during the World Cup, frequent communication about uh, his observations, his, his learnings. Yeah, in fact, always so willing to, to give me information and share information. Uh, I knew about his book uh, maybe even before it was even released and, and some of the snippets and tactical insights. So it will be very interesting because he's a, he's a very good coach, uh, one I have huge respect for and I learn a lot from, to tell you the truth. And uh, um, uh, somebody that uh, for sure he wants to beat us, but we have to we have to recover very well, and we know it's going to be a very difficult game against Swallows, and mainly because of the uh, the, the the leadership of Ernst Mirando. But I don't want to also take away the the incredible job that Musa Nyatama did in the in, in the in the interim. I think you guys know the feelings I have towards Musa. And uh, the closeness also I have for Musa in terms of the, the, the engagements and, and also while he was in charge, we were speaking and, and exchanging ideas and uh, uh, learning also a lot from him. Uh, Musa is an incredible uh, prospect for a coach. He's going to be one of the best probably in this country, I think, uh, because of his, his love for the game, but also his, his knowledge. Um, so Musa did very, very well to lay a very strong foundation for, for, for Ernst, but for sure I think Middendopul, his, his, his experience and his technical quality will, will, will assist Solos with, uh, with uh, moving forward, and not just against us, but just moving forward. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.